Hey YouTube, I'm Jay Sones, and today I'm going to show you how to train tailoring all the way to 120 on UO Outlands using a Razor script or the new crafting queue. Crafting queue is only stored server side, so you can't really share a queue until now. We'll cover the Razor script about setting up a crafting queue, how many resources it took to hit 100, and why I might give up Razor for any future crafting. Why choose tailoring? On UO Outlands, tailoring not only allows you to craft some awesome gear, but it also gives you bonuses in PvP and PvM. The first thing you want to do is gather supplies. I did make a video about that over there on the YouTubes. If you search for UO Outlands skinny, this guy right here, make sure you check that out. Alright, let's head over to the game now. Basically, I did run a crafting queue to get to 100. Let's go ahead and cover the scripts, though. The scripts will be in GitHub. As always, link in the description, link in a pinned comment. Smashed. Snap. Crackle pop. Uh, let's start off with this train tailoring script. With this one, it's like any other script, and we're just going to cover it. And if you want to use it, you can. Overall, it took about 145k leather to hit 100 skill, and about 260 tailoring kits store bought. I have a restock agent 5 as my leather and two sewing kits, and you hop into this. If I'm over 120, stop and hit the max. If not, I need to count my leather and make sure I have a sewing kit. If I don't have enough leather or sewing kit, run my restock. This just says if I don't have a variable called restock container leather, go ahead and set one. If I don't have any sewing kits, I'm done. If I don't have a leather, I'm done. Now at this point, we're going to double click the sewing kit in our backpack and we're going to wait for Gump. Uh, and then we go through the sk skills here. So tailoring, less than 50, you train at the vendor. Less than 65, go Gorget. 70 gloves. And this is just matches what's on the wiki, right? So if we're on the wiki, we just broke this down into uh, the different blocks there on the wiki. Um, again, the way this works, when you double click that, it's basically the first way is to select a category, right? And so Gump Response 101, for example, is leather armor because they started at 100. I have another video explaining about that in detail with blacksmithing. Be sure to check that out if you're curious how this works. Gump response 100, and then it starts 200 here, and 300 craft based on our skill. Uh, and then for this guy, I'm actually recycling everything in my backpack. It's a little bit risky because if you have some shit in there that you don't want to actually delete, then you make sure you put it away, otherwise it will recycle it. Like I accidentally recycled my uh, shadow iron skinning blade. Whoops. But anyway, uh, what's nice about this is you don't have to check for types, you don't have to check for items, it's just a quick way to do it. So I'm just going to save and play this. So I have a skill currently and I have a max of 107 so it's gonna try to create studded legs because I'm under 105 skill again this is a this is something you could just take and run it um, again the only gotcha with this one is I have a restock agent of five that is cut up leather and a sewing kit under my scripts tab under options I have a restock container leather which happens to be pointing to this bad boy which has all my leather in it so there's that one. All right, something I've avoided up until now is crafting cues. Like, what is a crafting cue? What does it do? I don't know. It sounds scary. Who moved my cheese? I just write scripts. So what I ended up doing was I looked at this crafting cue. If you click open crafting cue, it brings up this crafting cue here. Okay, I can right click that. Or you can do uh, open bracket crafting queue, and that will bring it up as well. And then if you create, and it basically just has this blank thing, and you can say rename or delete. Okay, now I have to manually put that in. One of the things I really like is about just copying and pasting a script. So what I did was I went ahead and made a script that will set up the queue for you. Uh, we just covered the the tailoring script itself, like how to do tailoring, but let's cover a script on how to set up a crafting queue. And this took a while for me, kind of trial and error, kind of learning as I went, but we're gonna go through this now. I'm actually just gonna save and play it and we can all watch what it look, what it does, okay? So I'm gonna save and play. And it basically created a new queue, okay? And it pops up some messages here. And it basically says that it wants me to enter a skill value of 65. The reason why you need to enter values is there's no way for Razor to actually do this for you. So I'm going to enter 65, confirm. And it moves on to the next one. It now added the gloves, and it says enter 70. Okay. And then it moves on to the next one, enter 75. Okay, enter the next one, 85, 90, firm. Okay, it's moving to the next page here. Enter 95, 100, 105, enter 120. Now it went back to the first page and it's basically saying enter a name for this queue. And we're just gonna say, uh, please subscribe, okay? Confirm new name. 
and it's saying target yourself as a source container or choose a container to pull resources from. And it says it's done. So what's cool about this is this script went ahead and set up that same skill bracket check that we have over there on the wiki, but in the crafting queue, okay? What, again, what's cool about the crafting queue is it will craft something until you hit a certain skill. So basically, we'll go through this. Let's go ahead and hit begin crafting. And I'm going to set my target as this uh, chest with the um, leather in it. Okay. So I just do set all and it sets them all for me. Uh, this is the destination container and I can just set it myself. They all get recycled anyways. So it doesn't matter. So we'll say begin crafting. And then basically, it's going to churn through this. It starts here. And I've already hit 65, I've already hit 70, 75. My skill's 100, it's gonna go all the way to creating legs. Now what's neat is this is all kind of server side, so there's literally no need for weights. This is gonna be the fastest way to gain skill uh, and get done, right? Because with Razor doing it, you actually have to wait for the gump response, you have to do all this stuff. With the crafting queue, you literally just hit craft and then wait. Now what happens is, if you run out of materials, right, it's going to grab them out of the, the restock containers. So you just want to make sure that you have materials in a container. You can't target a shelf for a restock, right? So for example, the sewing kits, you're going to run out of them, and you can't just to click the shelf and or, you know, have that as a restock container. So you either need to put um, sewing kits inside of your regular bag, or just have them on your character, or create a script to do, you know, a restock on yourself. But what I ended up doing with this process is instead of even worrying about needing to restock agent, is I went ahead and took all my leather and put it on my character. The, how you do that is on Outlands, you can actually be uh, a million percent overweight. Um, a lot of the times you'll get a message that says like this container can't hold anymore. So for example, if I take this whole thing of leather. It says it weighs 6,000 pounds. And if I click myself, it won't work. However, if I click myself and I add it to an already open stack, that doesn't work either. However, if I take that whole stack and I just click on my backpack and I have a stack that can, it could go into, it correctly just slides right in. So what I did at the very beginning, I'll, I'll cut to a little snippety snap of it. Um, but basically I just created, you know, four stacks of leather. And then I just started to drag and drop all the leather onto my character. Okay. And then I had a hundred plus sewing kits on myself. So my scripts never actually needed to restock. You know, like a lot of times we spend time restocking in our scripts. Uh, I found out we can just go ahead and totally overload our character. To get to the crafting queue, you can either click on a crafting tool and then click open crafting queue, or you can just type in again the crafting queue. Let's just begin crafting again. And boom, there you go. And it basically again goes through the list until it hits the skill reached. All right, if you're still with me, this is some cool stuff. Okay. I'm going to show you what it looks like if you're going to do this manually. And again, it's not bad. This still is amazing. Great job, Outlands. Luthius, Owen, whoever's idea this was, this is awesome. Um, but basically, you create queue, okay? And then when you're inside your tailoring kit, you know, we want to start off with a leather gorget. And if we have the tailoring crafting queue open, we have a, another button here. Gump response 400, 401, 402. So again, we have 100, 200, 300 is the options over here. And then 400 is this new crafting queue. And again, that only exists if you have the crafting queue open. So we want to start with a leather gorget. So we can just click that. And it adds the leather gorget to a crafting queue. And by default, it says craft until X amount made or never and never recycle. So what my script does is I, I click that button and it says craft until made and it clicks over until it says craft until skill reached. And then I have a prompt that says, hey, you want to craft that till 65. Then right after you accept that, then it changes to recycle all. And then it goes back to the next item, which would be gloves. You know, it clicks this again, moves that over, asks you what you want to do clicks this and then goes on. I'll quickly cover the script here just so you guys can understand what I'm doing. So you need a sewing kit to get started because we're basically needing to make sure that we can add a leather gorget, gloves, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm closing any open gumps 
I'm opening the crafting queue to make sure that when I double click the uh, guy here that the 400s will exist. I handle if you have too many queues. Uh, I give some system messages here. The first thing it does is tries to do a leather gorget. Again, I'm waiting for the crafting gump. I'm selecting 101, which is leather armor. I then select the add to queue, which is 400. And then I'm closing this gump so it's out of the way. That way you can see your character and it, the, the prompt that it's going to say. Uh, from here, I'm now interacting with the gump response on this gump. That new gump is 45, 35, 54, 062. I am on the beta client for this because on the beta client, you can specify the gump ID with gump response. So normally in any of my other videos, you would see gump close and only gump close and gump response 500 and that's it but with the beta client you can actually choose which menu you want to interact with and that's very important here since you technically will have a tailoring um, uh, gump open you'll have the crafting queue gump open you'll have other gumps that also these is another one right and so the beta client is very it won't work if you're not on the beta client so but according to the timeline that the beta client should be available um, you know by September so maybe by the time you're looking at this video it's already out so you might not need beta we basically go down here and we're clicking this button right and we're moving it over until the skill is reached that's where this gump comes in gump response 3 and the reason why I'm doing it twice is because it's too over and then basically I'm saying while this gump exists which is again is a new feature enter the skill and I'm overheading that so you do it you know I want you to Make sure you see it once that's confirmed that you know whether that gets clicked away just right clicked which hopefully people don't do that or they confirm then it turns this recycle button on okay because it's the defaults never recycle but we want to recycle all while we're training okay? and then that's it and then it moves on and it keeps going and going and you can only have five items on a list here so once it uh, hits a certain page i have right here that it needs to go to another page right and so that's where the moving the next page comes in and this keeps going items and then it wants you to target yourself or pull in from a container and then once that's done it uh spams you with a little message what happens if i run this again it just creates a new one so if you can appreciate this video smash that like button hit your friends up with suggestions wait a minute just let me know in the comments but again this video i'm 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 never gonna use the crafting queue is amazing however I will create scripts to create the crafted key. Thanks for watching. Peace.